Hey guys, today I'm trying a new climbing gym, the Gravity Vault in Poughkeepsie. I've only been to three other climbing gyms, so we'll see how this one compares. It has a moon board, a small fitness section, and then a decent amount of bouldering. My goal is to get in a good amount of climbing volume and try as many boulders as possible. But first, I'll warm up starting with this green V0. I guess no matter where you go, a V0 is just a jug ladder. Now I'll try this white V1. There's a steep section and the holds are slightly worse than the V0. Now, I'll try this yellow V2. It starts off steep, but then becomes slabby, with slightly worse holds at the top. This V2 definitely felt easier than the V2s at the Gravity Vault and Radnor. Now I'll try this yellow V3. I forgot to get a close up of the route, but it was basically just a jug ladder, but the jugs were slightly further apart than a V0. I think I chose a bad V3 though. There are a bunch of very interesting V3s, so stay tuned. I decided to move on to this purple V4. All of the holds are juggy pinches. It has a very steep beginning, then levels out, and then becomes slabby at the top. My foot slips and I end up falling. I mess up my beta and things get a little scrappy. I use my knee instead of my foot. I have another close call because my left foot misses the hold. It was super scrappy, but luckily I'm able to top out. Now I'll try this purple V4 with dual tech slopers. I couldn't decide which beta to use for the first move. Should I go up or to the right? Should I go with my right hand or my left hand? What should I do with my feet? Here, I try to match on the right hand as an undercoin.
This time, I get my right foot up and I can reach the next hold with my right hand. You have to step on dual techs to get your feet up. I have trouble getting my right foot up and I end up falling. I cross with my left hand, and then I'm able to get my right foot up. I get a little stuck here. I think getting my right hip into the wall would have been better to get my weight over to the right so I can move my left foot up. I decide to move on to this pink V3. It starts with a couple of pockets and has a bunch of small holes. I make the mistake of trying to reach up with my right hand without moving my feet first. I try to get my right foot up, but it feels really awkward. This time, I move my right hand back down to the pocket and I have a much easier time moving my feet. I'm able to get my right hand on the last hold, but I can't figure out how to move my left hand over. The orientation of the hold makes me think I'm supposed to get my weight out to the right. I try to get my left foot up, but that doesn't work either. I decide to move on to this white V5. It has a fun beginning where you can either campus or heel hook. Then there's a mantle in the middle and a slabby top out. I mess up the heel hook because the right side of the hold is blocked by the orange hold. I have to move my hand over before getting the heel in. The next hold was smaller than I thought and my left hand ends up trapping my right hand. I have to waste energy to free it before swinging over to the big hold. I mantle on the big hold and try to use the arets but they don't feel like anything. I think I have to get my right foot up so I can reach the next hold. This boulder was exhausting, so I decided to move on to this orange V3. It has a lot of pinches, and there are smallish feet on the steep part. I make the mistake of going for the far hold with my right hand. It looked good enough to swap hands on, but it wasn't. I try to make a big move outright, but it doesn't work.
this time, I do the correct sequence and cross over with my left hand. Now, I'll move on to this orange V3. It's very steep and all of the holds are really good. Now, I'll move on to this black V4. It starts on an undercling and has these big moves to jugs on a very steep wall. Now, I'll move on to this blue V3. It starts with a steep section with jugs underneath the volume. Then, the wall levels out and the holds get worse until the last hold, which is a jug. I found it very hard to keep tension to the small foothold. So I decided to cut feet and make a dynamic move. This climbing gym really exposed how bad my footwork is. Now, I'm going to this pink V3. It has a fun beginning where you have to get your weight over a high left foot. Now, I'll move on to this purple V3. It starts with pinches and then has some good holds around the corner. Now, I'll try the V4 version of this route. It goes left, and it's all crimps after the first three pinches.
I try to go for a high left foot, but it doesn't feel good. I try to just reach for the next hold, and I'm just barely able to catch myself with the three finger drag. I almost missed the last hold, but again, I was just barely able to catch myself with another three finger drag. Now I'll work on this orange V4. There's a mixture of flat textured holds and juggy pinches. On the first move, I barn door off. So I decided to start with crossed arms. Then I was able to land the first move. I'm able to send the boulder, but I'm a little sad that I didn't flash it. Now I'll move on to this red V4. It has these weirdly shaped holds with holes in them. There's this upside down hold in the middle that I'm not sure how to use. I tried to step through here but it made the next move very hard. I try to grab the bottom of the hold with my pinky and the right side of the hold with my thumb and then use the holes like pockets but the hold still didn't feel great. The hold above it is slightly better, but it's definitely oriented for the right hand. I go for a high right foot, but it doesn't work. I try it again, and the high right foot works this time. I think I have to get my right hand into the higher hold to reach out to the left. Now move on to this pink V3. It starts on some flat holds and then you go out left to these ribbed pinches. Then you finish on this upside down flat hold. I'm able to reach the last hold with ease, but then I have trouble matching on it. I tried putting my right foot out wide to stabilize the position, but it doesn't work. Now, I'll try the V4 route of the pink holds. It starts with big moves out to the right to some jugs, and then it has these slopey holds with these tiny edges attached. I 
found it really difficult to step on the starting hold. So I decided to just jump from the volume. I jumped to the first slopey hold, but just barely can't hold the swing. Unfortunately, the gym is going to close, so that's going to be the end of today's session. So, what do I think about the Gravity Vault in Poughkeepsie? I think it grades harder than the Gravity Vault in Hoboken, and softer than the Gravity Vault in Radnor. It's probably around the same difficulty as North Summit. It has a lot of position-dependent climbs, like those V3s, where I couldn't match on the last hold. It also has more beta intensive and footwork intensive climbs than I'm used to. I think it has my second favorite route setting behind the Gravity Vault at Radnor. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!